Hello and welcome back to the tribe. My fellow tribesmen, in this video I will show you how to add your own traffic to any track you want with the quite simple and already included CSP traffic tool without any FPS drops. Before we jump right to the game and create our traffic lines, you need to make the following changes and adjustments in three easy steps. Let's start with step number one. CSP traffic tool is already included in the CSP package, but some necessary data files are left out deliberately to make the CSP lighter. You can find these data files from the link below and also from the video description. This data folder contains traffic car models, colliders and fonts to generate license plates on the fly. This folder must be placed into the following folder. Step number two, preparation of the track you want to add traffic to. For scripting physics to work, track should have custom physics enabled and explicitly allow for scripts to alter physics. For that, you need to locate and edit very simply your track's surfaces.ini file. This surfaces.ini file can be found in the following folder. What you should do is to add the following. We are going to change the wave pitch in surface underscore zero to extended minus zero, which will activate custom track physics. And then add the following text somewhere in this surfaces.ini file, for example, right at the bottom of the page. I will put all of this in the video description so you don't need to write them yourselves. And the last step, step number three, is that you go to the content manager and then settings and from settings to custom shaders patch and then to GUI in order to make sure that the point and click objects inspector is activated. So we activate this because we need objects inspector because this is the interface where we are going to create our traffic lanes and traffic intersections. Now we are ready to jump into the game and see how you can create some basic traffic lines. Okay, now we are in the game and we can create ourselves a simple basic intersection which you can take after this video and apply to your favorite track. Okay, so where do we create this intersection and these traffic lines? We go to the right hand side, app window, app drawer and right at the bottom there you will see objects inspector. So we click that and we see a window with a button called tools. So from tools, we select traffic planner. Okay, so this is the interface that we are going, which we are going to use by creating our simple intersection here in this lovely track called Mulholland Drive. Okay, so we have different tabs here as well simulation lanes intersections areas and rules we are going to jump a little bit into detail but not that much it will be quite simple so sit back relax and let's create our beautiful intersection okay so for our intersection we first need to create our lanes so this is a two-way road here the main road and we are going to use this a little street as our uh, third side of our inter intersection. So let's begin and create the lanes. So we switch to the lanes tab and on the bottom of the screen you will see hold control and click to start creating a new lane and hold shift and click to start creating a new intersection. Okay, our buttons are holding control. As you can see there is a axis pictogram, the green axis pictogram on the on the on the surface of the track so we will hold control and click to create our new lane all right so let's move here one of the lanes will be here I am holding control and clicking with my mouse okay cars will drive up to here this is one of the lanes the other lane will be 
cars joining from here to this little street. I will show you in a minute how, you, how the cars are going to be in a loop with this intersection feature. So this is our street lanes, right? So after this intersection here, the cars are going to be driving that way and cars are going to be coming from that way. So we need to create two more lanes here. So let's begin here. So there's this lane going down the road up until there. And we need to create another lane coming from up the road. So from there, another lane is coming right into our intersection here. Let's get a little bit back. Okay, so our three-way intersection will have two additional lanes here on this part of the road. So let's create two more lanes. So cars will be coming this way holding control and clicking up until there and we are in need of another lane that will go that way until there okay so we have created our in total six lanes here and we are going to need one two three and four intersections this will be our normal functioning intersection that we are that we are targeting to create and these one two and three intersections are going to function just like a loop for the cars to turn around and join the intersection again okay let's create the intersections you don't need to switch to the intersections tab but I just did you don't need to so we are now holding shift and then we will click just like lane and we create this rectangle this is the intersection as you can see as we create the loop the cars are now spawning let's keep them at a minimum let's drag this right to the left hand side with cars one on the simulation tab Okay, let's continue on to the intersections. We need an intersection here. So we hold shift, click, click. I'm left clicking by the way, click and another click. So we have a loop intersection here as well. So the cars entering here will, will switch lane to this lane and will continue on to the main intersection. Let's finish up the looping intersection so click 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 another click so we have our other intersection and now let's create our main intersection so our intersection is going to start here here and then we are going to go follow the white line you have to keep the lane beginnings and lane endings inside of the intersection that's the important part let's follow the white line again go until here and a little bit further and then make this move to include all the beginnings and ends on that side of the road and then finish up our intersection here okay we are basically done with the intersection creation but these intersections have also further features and parameters that we have to alter and change so let's see this is the first intersection that we created and if we hover here we'll see this inter intersection is giving way to this lane and making them and allowing them to make a u-turn and join the intersection again if you left click this box here you will see you can move you can you can disable the allow box 
and this intersection will no longer allow this U-turn. But we want them to make a U-turn, that's why we are going to uh, keep the allowed box ticked. So this intersection is functioning like a loop closer, basically, for us. Okay, that intersection is done. We need to make adjustments on our main intersection. This is the intersection number eight. And we jump right into it and we see this matrix here, this lane matrix. And if you hover above these boxes, you will see from which lane there's a possibility to go another lane. So we are going to disallow this intersection to do certain lane switchings. For example, this U-turn, we don't want this, this is not realistic. We left click it and we disallow it. And then here on the side seven, here on the street side, we don't want to allow this movement here. This is not realistic as well. So we left click it and untick the allow box. And just like we did there, and we must do that again here. Left click it, this movement, we don't want it. It's not realistic, it's unticked. All the other movements are normal movements, as you see, as I hover it, you'll see what the intersection does with the, with the lanes from all the streets and the main street. And these are all normal car movements. Okay, we are actually and basically done with our intersection. Let's see with some more cars how it's going to look. Okay. Let's keep the speed to 1.9 and see how they're behaving. As you see, cars are entering the intersection, waiting for the other cars in line and making their turns then. Some cars are moving a little bit badly, so to speak, but um, this has got to do with the car models and so on but basically what we have created here is a basic intersection loop that you can take and apply to any track you want as simple as that okay there were some other tabs here areas we are not going to jump in those areas and there is this rules section which has got to do with all the speed limits and lane priorities so as you see under the lanes tab we have our one two three four five six lanes here listed and if you come to the roll section you can make the lanes parking secondary main or highway so these properties have their own rules and for that properties you can find the rules here for example if you make a lane roll parking you can set all parking lanes to a certain speed limit which you can see here is 40 kilometers per hour but since we have all our lanes as a roll of main all our lanes will have a speed limit of 80 kilometers per hour And that's basically it. So you can take this and apply it to any track you want.